Hey guys, I want to do a video today about what I think is something very important when it comes to buying a display. And this video is for one of my subscribers, or one of our subscribers, Will A, who is struggling with a defective display. Um, I believe it's his second or third. And if any of you guys have been through this, it is terrible. It's a terrible experience. It's a lot of pouring over the image with different tests to see if it shows up on cable, shows up on streaming. It can make you crazy, and it can actually make you feel pretty alone as you head over to Best Buy or wherever you bought it, and you try to ask those salesmen, hey, is this okay? Is this normal? In the meantime, when you should be relaxing in front of that display, you're actually pulling your hair out. And you know, we say on this channel and all the comments, you'll hear a couple things. You'll hear a balance. You'll also hear uh, the struggle is real. And all you guys that comment on me, you know what I'm talking about, is it can actually become a hardship. It can become a real problem. It can distract you from the other things in your life when you should be sitting in front of these things just relaxing. So um, this is for Will A, who had a dead pixel on a 65-inch 900E. He loved the picture, but said, you know what? You know, this thing is defective. I'm going to send it back, but maybe I should go with a 930E or a 900E. The pattern is the feeling of what you saw from the first one kind of sends you up to the next level in price and in size. So him and I dialogued, and we ended up coming up with maybe, since he liked the 900E, jumping up to the 75-inch 900E instead of the 65-inch 930E. He jumps up to the 900E, loves the size, really enjoys it, and sees some flash lighting in the corner. And though that's rare for a full array um, display, it's not completely uncommon. It does happen. So now he should he keep it? What should he do? Was it bad enough? And you see where I'm going with this. The time just kind of keeps getting wasted. So then the next thing is, well, since I'm up here and I'm not really a gamer, should I go with the 940E? And maybe the Z9D. And as you can see, what's happening is, due to a couple defective displays, he's going up and up in price. And this is exactly what I did last year, guys. I went from a Vizio P-Series at 4000 to a KS9000. Um, because I was just trying to go up in quality when I end up with, and I will show you what I end up with, was a KS9000 with that. That is Dishonored, that is flashlighting. Here is another picture, if you guys can see the corners, that is clouding and flashlighting. And here's Resident Evil. Now according to Samsung, that was in their specs as passable. According to Best Buy, that was normal for, for edge-lit displays. Um, you'll hear the same thing from Sony, the same thing from LG. I'm sorry, when it comes to these manufacturers, they are all terrible. So it's really up to you guys to stand up for yourselves and say, that's not okay, this is not all right. So when you're on the phone with Amazon or, on, or in a Best Buy, bring your pictures and just say, this is not within the normal tolerances. And usually they'll accommodate you. It's just when you get out of that return window, guys, and you end up with the manufacturer, you're definitely screwed. And they'll either fix it or they won't, or they'll just tell you you're stuck. So stand by your guns. Have them free ship it to you each time until you get the one you want. Now this is within reason. These are defects. Vertical banding in the middle of the screen, not okay. Horizontal banding and through the top of the screen, not okay. Dead pixels. We're not buying $400 computer monitors here, guys. You know, And that shouldn't be okay for computer monitors either. But you should be happy with it. Now the 940E has a blurring issue. That's not Sony's fault. That's not a that's just that's just not what I'm happy with. But flash lighting, edge lit bleed, clouding, these things are not okay because these are premium products. Um Artings.com helped me a lot because I messaged them and I they answered my questions as much as they could, and they kept me from feeling super lonely. So what I want to tell you guys is as you're all subscribing and you're part of this channel. Please, it's not a bother. You have questions, don't start the questions with stupid question. It's not a stupid question. That's why I started the channel, was to help you guys figure out what the right thing is or what the right thing be for, might be for you. So please, you're never bothering me. It's never a stupid question. I just think you have to stand up and stand by your guns and make sure you get the right display and make sure someone doesn't tell you that edge lit bleed and things like that are just part of the spec. So please, if you guys have questions or need help, it's never a bother. And I really appreciate all of you guys, all your questions, all your comments. And just let me know if you're having any issues. And good luck with everything, guys. And I really appreciate it. Take care.